What's up, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in another episode of the Agent to CEO podcast. And uh, I'm excited for today. We've got uh, the one and only Pam Martin in the house with us. And I'm really excited to to really dive in. And, you know, Pam, the really kind of the whole agent to CEO concept is, you know, it's kind of the, you know, right things, right order. There's a there's that code and sequence to everything going from from agent to really becoming the CEO of your business and, and uh, the, you know, the CEO of your life. And there's so many different ways to get to whatever that goal, that vision is for yourself and and for what you have. And I'm really excited because, you know, I've kind of been behind the scenes under the hood, if you will, with you, um, you know, over the last uh, four or five years, four mm-hmm. years here running and, and um, you know, just to what you've been able to do and and how it was born out of, you know, kind of necessity as, as we, you know, started rocking into to 20 and how you just had that paradigm shift and the change in your thinking and in being able to, you know, hey, there's all kinds of ways to do business. I'm 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 just gonna decide to do the business the way I want to do it. And you know, I'm I'm really excited for you to share share your story, share kind of what uh, what you've been up to and and where that's allowed you to kind of transform, you know, your your business and your life and and where you're at today. So uh welcome. Yeah. Thanks for uh thanks for jumping in. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Absolutely. So yep. I'll let you give a little background or, or maybe if you just want to jump in, I know you've got some slides um, to be able to, uh, to kind of share with everybody. So if you're, if you're listening to this on the, on the podcast yeah. platforms, you can always go over to YouTube, to our YouTube channel um, at John Kitchens coach, and you'll be able to see this episode of the agent to CEO podcast with Pam Martin and uh uh, be able to see all of her slides that she's going to share as she kind of walks through today's conversation. But uh, Pam, I'll let you share your screen and and throw things up, and and we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll navigate through your slides, and you know, feel free to to pause and ask me questions, and and of course, okay. I'll, I won't be afraid to jump in and and intertwine and ask questions for you for sure. Okay, I'm going to share, and I'm not a techie, so I'm probably <laughs> going to stumble here. So I'm gonna I'll let you here. get back to the beginning there. Well, let me try it here. Okay. Okay, here I am right there. I don't know why it's not working. Hold on. You got it? I got it. Yeah. You got it. I did it. All right. (laughs) So, so kind of, kind of, you know, the really, I know um, you've got this presentation put together for EXP Con coming up. And so, you know, we're recording this the week before EXP Con. So, you're you're on stage at at EXP Con and um, you know being able to kind of share this presentation on on really what they're calling it becoming the agent of the future and I think uh, you know for you it's it's the the agent of the present because this is really it your is. reality and and how you're still able to maintain business as as a solo agent at such a high level. Yeah, definitely my future is right now, no doubt about that. So I'm going to kind of move on here a little bit and. What, what I want to do is just kind of get everybody thinking, um, you know, from how I run my business and how my life is today, how it's just transformed over the last four years, it's been incredible. But, you know, just kind of think about it, imagine, dream with me for a minute that, you know, you could have a bustling real estate business, you could work from anywhere, a mountaintop or a beach, and never step foot in a home. Mm. How's it sounds that possible? Unreal. <laughs> well, just hold on. All right, all right, <laughs> right? All right. It's amazing. So just just, you know, virtually imagine a true virtual remote agent where you can serve your clients from literally anywhere in the world. And that's what I've been able to do. And it's been really exciting. And, you know, you'll hear me say this often. Sometimes I can't believe I'm doing it. Mm. So it's been really super exciting for me to do that. And, you know, I hope by sharing this, it can get everybody thinking a little differently about how they run their business. And just about their business in general. And how does it really align with your life? How does it? And we don't often think about that. And until this happened, I it was such a major shift. It's like, wow, it transformed my life. So that's super exciting. And, and I'm really happy to, to share that. Um, just a little about me. I'm married. I have two kids in their 20s. And I got into real estate. It was in 2008. 
And I'd always loved real estate. And I'd actually just previously talked my husband into buying our first rental property. And I wanted more. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my kids were getting older. And, you know, I thought it would be a great fit for me being able to still have somewhat of a flexible schedule to be involved in their activities and, and events as such. So, you know, off I went. And I was really fortunate that I was able to jump out of the gate as quickly as I did. Um, I mean, right away, I, I hit some success. And actually, I'll never forget it. Um, I started on a Monday, I went in, I was supposed to be on a training for a contract or something totally green. And back then Craigslist was a big thing. And that's where we would post to get buyer leads to build my data with base with and I'm a true database person. It's all about the database right. for me. So that's what I was doing. And my phone rang and it was somebody called from one of those ads and they're like about this house I posted. And they said, we're here from Pennsylvania. We want to see it today. Well, I didn't even know how to operate the super thing at that point. And I was like, okay, it was crazy. And I was driving a minivan. I wasn't prepared for anybody to get in my car. And I'm like, well, go ahead and come to my office. And I'm scrambling all nervous get in my car. There's French fries and soccer equipment. It was horrible. But long story short, by the end of the week, I had a ratified contract for $500,000. And in 2008, that was huge, 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 epic. So I got the bug pretty quick and I loved it. And I was just so fortunate. And I, I reached my first career milestone that year. I was named rookie of the year. So it, it was just awesome. And and since then, I've gone on and closed about an average of 60 homes a year. Um, I can tell you, I'm not a so social media influencer. And I don't focus on followers or likes. I've had a couple minutes of fame there, but we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> and I'm not a tech guru, but I can figure it out if I want to do it. And if I have to, I can just spending a lot of time on YouTube watching videos. Um, and I'm not a team. I'm a solo agent and I have a virtual admin. And I have since that very first contract I ever got. So I've never managed my own files. I've always had leverage with that. I'm a solo agent with a database. Hmm. And since then, a decade, you know, goes by pretty quickly in this business. And time changed and my goals changed too. I was really busy, probably working a lot more than I should have. But, you know, we have kids and their college was important to me. And, you know, it enabled our family to go on wonderful vacations. And my kids got to pick the college of their choice, which was out of state, of course. And it was awesome. And then as they went on with their life, approaching 2018, I was in a different season in my life. And it was my husband and I, we wanted to travel more. And I really wanted my time back. I didn't want to work weekends. So I really started thinking about my business and how I could realign it. And then I started learning about EXP, which was interesting and really refreshing. Um, I was somewhat skeptical, but I couldn't get it out of my head. But one of the things that really resonated with me was the opportunity with the EXPI stock. So long story short, in 2018, after 10 years being with my previous brokerage, I made the jump over. Yeah. And that's when the big turning point came in my business. I decided that I just wanted to focus on one thing, and that was listings. And I just became hyper-focused in 2019 on listings. And that meant every call, everything was geared towards a seller. And it worked. And I ended up closing out that year, a banner year, with a record number of listings. And I got my time back and I had my weekends back. And um, looking forward to that 2020 year. And then we all know what happened. The world stopped, right? There was a lot of uncertainty. And I was just like everybody else, scrambling, how am I going to figure it out? And I was really uncomfortable going at homes. It wasn't something that I wanted to do. And I was, it was March of 2020 is when it was the biggest probably day in my career. 
I was on the phone with the seller and he said, you know, hey, when are you going to come by and take a look at my house? I froze. I, because, you know, you, we were working together then. Yeah. I was full of anxiety. I, I just didn't know what to do, but I, I wanted to be able to help him, but I didn't want to lose the opportunity, but I knew I had to see the inside of his house. And I just said, hey, take me on a tour on FaceTime. And he did. And I'm not going to pretend it was perfect. I can tell you, it, it was really awkward and bumpy. Um, but with some patience, we got through it. And that was my first virtual listing. And I can tell you now, if I look back, if I had known I was going to ask that question, I would have talked myself out of it and come up with a million reasons why it would <laughs> never work. Me right. doing a FaceTime. And I wasn't prepared. I was nervous. You know, I think I had a baseball hat on. There were laundry baskets behind me. Truly. It was like, it was like so off the cuff, but it worked. And from then on, I continued to do virtual listings. Um, and it became second nature. And I, I started becoming a lot more confident. And now I can't imagine working any other way. And since March of 2020, I've closed over 200 homes and I've only been at four. Yeah. So it worked for me. Say that again. Say that again. Since March of 2020, I've closed over 200 transactions and I've been at four homes. All right. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, and I've continued to reach icon status year for year. So you, you can imagine how it changed my life. Talking about getting your time back changed my whole perspective on life. It, it, it's just shocking. Sometimes I look at myself, or I'm a solo agent. I'm like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Right. So I got my time back for sure. That's, and it, it really granted me the power just to live completely differently. You know, it was during that time we were chasing beach house rentals and spending weeks. And then it turned into months at the beach. And um, I was still achieving icon status and working completely remote being, you know, not going in into any homes. Yes, I do have some leverage on the ground and we'll talk about that later. But I was able to manage my lifestyle that I could have only imagined, yet continue to have my bustling business and reach icon every year. It, it's been amazing. And truly my business is designed for my lifestyle now because I never could have dreamed of where I am today and how I do business. And you know what I find so interesting is that for years, we've all been doing buyers virtually, right? I mean, yeah. I'm sure you've heard about it. it wasn't anything new, but we just kind of never thought, at least I had never, wish I thought of this earlier, doing virtual listings or even a virtual valuation. So the power of that is amazing. Just think, even if somebody just wants to know the value, if you're able to get on a quick FaceTime with them, it's amazing how it changes that the dynamics. We're out of the way. We're no longer, we don't have to be there. It's about them. They're taking us on tour and everybody loves to talk about their house and they do. And you're just following along, taking great notes. So, you know, even if that day, maybe they don't list three or four months later, you know, I'm keeping them in my database on my bench. I've already made that contact with them and I have already seen the inside of their property. It's really been amazing. So since then, you know, luckily um, I was able to take advantage of investing in the e EXPI stock and being able to work effectively, remotely, completely virtual and reach my icon every year. You know, because of that, this is my reality now. In January of 21, my husband and I bought our own beach house. I don't chase rentals anymore. And I've completely relocated from Virginia to the Carolinas. And this has been my view since 2021 for over three years. It's amazing. Yeah, I can't believe crazy. it. Sometimes I have to pinch myself, believe me. Yeah, I know. I love it. <laughs> that, that, that would never get old. Right? 
So what questions do you have for me, John? How do you want to kind of go about? I think I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of questions and are really yeah, no, I think I think you look at it and, and you know, I know, you know, the, the presentation there was kind of kind of a, uh, you know, condensed time frame that you're going to be able to to kind of present it. Yes. Uh, I th think, you know, looking at it from, you know, the solo agent and, you know, obviously, uh, you know, the question then would become, okay, well, well, Pam, you know, we were forced to do that. However, when things opened up, how come, how come you kept doing it that way and didn't go back to more of a traditional listing, traditional aspect? Would you? I mean, I'm not going to go back to writing a contract out. Convenience, I can't reverse that. Right. right. I'm able to do everything in my life. My lifestyle changed. You know, I. it's an amazing life I have. I can't ever imagine doing that. Right. And I, I'm still able to reach my goals and to help my clients. You know, and if, if a listing doesn't fall into the category where it's appropriate, that's fine. I can refer it out. Um, but I'm not taking anything away from the traditional, uh, listing at all. You know, if anything, I, I have more time, you know, I'm still managing, you know, getting any repairs done. I have a nice leverage system in place. You know, your photographer's key in this point, your home inspector, those things. Um, and you kind of train yourself to look for key points that might be a problem. And it's just become so second nature to me. I cannot imagine not saying I won't ever going into another kitchen and taking a listing. No, being able to do that. I think, you know, once you have established that mindset and, and created the leverage, I would like to, you know, know, you know, kind of what all of those components are from, from the leverage standpoint, but, you know, how do you convince the sellers? I mean, that, you know, maybe they're, they're, they're back into, well, how come you're not coming to my house? Like, I mean, I mean, you can, it's not like you can't anymore. You can, how come you choose not to? I've never gotten that question. Yeah. And it's not a thing at the beginning of the conversation. We say, we're going to do a virtual valuation of your property at this time. Right now I am starting to market that to see what happens. Right. Versus somebody putting in their address and having 60,000 agents call them and I've looked them up from an address. You want a real-time free evaluation? Look, happy to help, right? Uh, that, that's a totally different component is the way I see it. It's a very natural, organic. It's, it's the same phone call that I've always done, a pre-listing phone call, gathering that information. Um, the script never changed. It's just, hey, do you got a minute? You want to go ahead and show me? And you know, oftentimes they're saying, oh, we just put this new kitchen in. I was like, can you show me on FaceTime? And they love it. And it really takes, um, I, I think there's a barrier that's gone for homeowners and sellers to think, oh, a realtor's coming to look at my house. You know, it can be a bit challenging, maybe even give some anxieties. I would think for most sellers, somebody's come to look at my house, kind of judge it, right? Yeah. Well, this is kind of an invisible barrier in a sense. They get to show me what they want. Right. And I've done this enough times. If I feel like something's being avoided, I can say, hey, can you show me around that corner and that room? Right. So it really puts them on the stage. I, I'm no longer on the stage at the dining room or, or leading the tour of the grand tour of the house. It's them. They're in control. And I'm just taking great notes, asking great questions. And it really gives me the opportunity to showcase my expertise in what I do, my profession and knowing the market value of no, I love that being able to keep it. I think it's the convenience. It's right then when you have them in the moment um, is, is. is also is also key. So for somebody that's listening in, it's like it's great, you know, but it won't it won't work for me. Obviously, is the mindset shift that absolutely it will. But once they once they overcome the mindset and the hurdles, Pam, what what is a foundation for this to be to, for this to be you know able to, to thrive to where, like you've mentioned, you know, I mean, you've hit icon, you know, every year, you know, throughout 2021, 20, 22, now 23. And what, what is the foundation for this to be possible besides the belief and the mindset, but like what components, you know, CRM lead sources, boots on the ground, like what, it, what, what's required for this to be possible and be, be really sustainable, um, you know, for, for, for multiple years. 
Well, let me just say this first. Everybody can do what they want with this. People are already doing it. And I think, you know, I just want to say this is in 2008, when I got into business, I went to this big training thing in my company that I went to, and they were talking all about virtual assistance and virtual help. And I was like, what? It was so just sounded unbelievable. Right. Um, well, it's everywhere now. And my prediction was in two years, this is going to be commonplace. What is great about this is an agent can use this and they can innovate it to however they want to immerse in their business. You know, it doesn't mean you have to do it like me. I choose to do it all completely remote. It's no different than a regular seller lead. They're going to do your research. You're going to be an expert. You're going to still know that house. It's not like we're looking on Zillow and getting a value. We're considering all the factors, same as you would on going to the house. Right. It is no different. It's just the mindset. I'm not in the house. I'm just seeing it. I mean, most agents have done a buyer virtually. It's no different, right? Um, for me, being in a different area, another way I see an agent doing an innovation. I mean, somebody could expand to a different area, different market. If you were moving, you don't have to give up your business. That's the beauty of this. There's so many ways you could weave this into your current business. Just another egg in a basket. Um, you know, let's say somebody, why not give it a try? The worst thing they're going to say is no, come out. Well, that's great. But the more confident, the more you believe that you can do it, the more yeses you're going to get. Yeah. And that that's how I see it. I think they can really innovate it however they want. I have some leverage on the ground. You know, I have a great photographer, a home inspector. I've, if some, I recommend some work being done to the property, paint. If they say, can you come back out, you know, and, and take a look after I've, you know, decluttered, done those things, you know, I have somebody that can go do that. Or oftentimes I'll just give them a buzz and just say, hey, show me real quick what you did. And, and they'll do it. Or, you know, I could have somebody go out and take a look. Um, but you do need that leverage that, that certainly is important for signs to go up for lock boxes. But that's just how I do it. The beauty of this is you could and if you could weave it however you want in your business. Yeah. And my goal is not to expand to different areas, but somebody with that desire certainly could take this. Would really be interesting to see where it goes because people are already doing it. It's just yeah. kind of quiet right now. Yeah, and and you know you look at it, you know you're in the market, you know they're they're ten years, and then you know EXP, you know nineteen twenty you know, two, two more years. So 12, 12 years yeah. or so in, in the market. So you have right. that, that, but, you know, knowing, knowing you and your business, and like you said, kind of in the beginning, you know, an agent with the CR, with the database, I mean, that is it. Right. And, and, you know, I think two part of that foundation to make this possible is one, you know, the mindset of it, but the mindset shift that I just want to make it sure everybody picked up is that, you treat everybody that the, as if they have a home to sell until you oh, can absolutely. Until you can determine mm -hmm. that they don't. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's that's a really important get. But then also I think it's the ha the daily habits of working the database. You're in the CRM every Always. day and and you're nudging people, you're you're working people, you're doing those things. I think is is super key um uh, as part of the foundation for this to for this to be a success. Yeah, it's no different than doing this, you know, without doing a virtual listing or a virtual evaluation. It's the same thing. And, and you know, my process, I'm really big on the database and my bench and it's a living document. It changes all the time, typically 25, 30 people on there. And I'm just really in touch with those leads. So, and everybody does their different, their, you know, business differently. But the way I do it is when I do get a, you know, speaking with you, for example, if you are a homeowner, you've received stuff from me. It's rare that sometimes it happens, but, you know, there's a few emails beforehand, some texts, so I can get them engaged. So we know a little bit about each other. And I'm a great note taker in the database. That is key. Follow up. It's all about, I believe, follow up, follow up, consistency, right? You got to have that and a sense of urgency. Because when they're ready, that's when you need to be there. You need to be the one there. You nailed that right there, Pam. And I think this is a gift for everybody that, that will go back and listen to this. And is that the urgency is because you're getting them not off the hook. You're getting them right then. Let me see. Show me. That's right. 
And then what I was thinking too, with people that they like, well, don't you need to come see it? And it's like, well, you have to understand, you know, the first showing is online. So it helps me if I'm looking at through what the consumer is going to see. That's, that's, that's what we, that's all that matters first. So I like that in my mind was, was overcoming that, that possible thought, that objection. And um, the other yeah. thing about that too, when you're doing that is you need to know your market, right? Which, which yes. I do um, know your market. I mean, before I make a call, I, you know, anybody, if I have an address, I'm looking that address up. If there's a previous listing from even 10 years ago, I'm looking at the photos. I'm going to have that in front of me when I have them on the phone before I even ask them to show me their house. So they know I'm confident, right? I know my market. Hey, do you still have the, you know, is that fence still back there? Oh, you saw that? Yeah, I did actually, you know, you want to connect with them, show them, show off your expertise, let them know, you know what you're talking about. I think that's key. Having the confidence for them to feel okay with you doing it that way. Right. I, I think that's key. Um, it, being confident in what you're talking about. You are an expert in their market. In the, in the housing market. So I, I think it kind of elevates that, you know, often they say, wow, you know, you know, so it's like, well, you know, in 10 minutes, you can learn a lot about a property. And I think too, it puts you in the, I mean, you're, you are, like you said, you're the expert. It puts you in the, you put you in the driver's seat, right? You're the one that's, that's really, you know, being the true professional and controlling the process and not allowing yep. them to control the process. And so I love that. I mean, I think, you know, the biggest get with all of this is, is the mindset hurdle and then just doing it. But just like, you know, the little nuance that you said, nothing changes. It's just like, show me now instead of, Hey, let's set the appointment and and I'll come out. It's like, Hey, why don't you just show me now? You know, I got a few minutes. How often will we would ask that question? Hey, what's your schedule? And they would say next week, there's a big chance they're going to back out. Right. Right. You're, you're, you're really being able to show them your value immediately, immediately. And I'm always talking about their net, you know, I'm always what's in it for them. You know, how can I help them? And I think when you come from that, for, I don't sell myself at all. They asked about myself. I say, look at my Zillow reviews. I'll send you whatever, you know, give you recommendations, but it's always about them. Um, and I'm a, I'm a presum, you know, I'm, I'm a, the way I close, I think, is pres- you know presuming that I got it. I'm going to go and send it up. Yeah. I, there's no asking. I'll send this over. Let's get going. Like there's it's yes, just, uh, exactly. the assumption. Of, yeah, it's just your your whole style is just, just assuming the close. Let's go. Yeah, and it's always yeah. about their net walk because before typically I get on a phone call, I know what they're going to net. Um, you know, either needs work or list ready. So I have a pretty good idea uh, of they and I find typically. Uh, research what they owe if they have a mortgage and if not I ask them that that's key with that yeah. that's the golden thing right there and I learned that from Jay <laughs> yeah. um that that's a question you got to get you got to find that out it's so key you know Pam I mean I think you know this there's there's so much more here and and you know if somebody oh, kind, of struggling, it kind of struggling with it a little bit and they and they want to uh they want to know a little bit more and and have you help them kind of through this and, and for them in their market and I help love them that. design that life. What's the best way for them to uh, to connect with you? Oh, well, they can workplace me. They can reach out to me on Facebook. Um, I'll get to you as soon as I can. Obviously, I'm going to be traveling next week, but um, I should put something up here. I can put my email up here, too. Yeah, it's there. Just share that next slide. I think you've got your email. Yeah, on there. right there. You can send me an email. And, you know, I just want people to know you don't have to go out and buy anything. There's no new shiny objects here. You're right. not buying some miracle platform that's going to promise you nothing, get, you know, and you get nothing. And it, and if you, if they just only knew how, you know, you couldn't get me on a FaceTime for anything. I am not a tech person or a social media person. It yeah. was so out of my character to do that. And I did it out of fear. I think of not being able to capture that opportunity. And now it's become so second nature to me. So I love it. You know, if if you believe you can do it and you have confidence, you know, in what you do, there is no reason. And, you know, you can get a lot of naysayers. Oh, you can't do it. Well, every one of my listings has sold above list price. So 
and it's full service commission. There's no discount commissions no here. Discounts. Yeah, full full steam ahead. I think it's so good. You guys, yeah. listen. And I mean, there's so many different ways. And, you know, like I said, you know, agent to CEO, but it's that CEO mindset. It's that really being, you know, um, you know, the the true head and leader of your organization, your life and your company. And you get to design that however you want. That's moving you closer to your freedom. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I, I wouldn't mind, you know, I, I, you know, sit, sitting coffee, looking out at that view every morning. Uh, to start my day as as I'm, you know, really working towards that freedom and, and actually living within it. So, Pam, thank you so much. For, oh, you're welcome. For, Thanks for, for having me. Jumping in. And you guys, seriously, I mean, I think, you know, we all want that flexibility. We all want um, more from our lives. And, you know, Pam has really unlocked the process and proven um, not, not just, um, you know, from a proof of concept, but actually has just really you know, uh, taking it to, to that freedom level and, um, make sure you guys connect. Um, I, I really feel this can be a huge component in, you know, all of you that have really designed and built your business as kind of a lifestyle business. This is the move, uh, for you. If you do desire to, to travel and, and still maintain your business from, from afar. So reach out. And, um, I know Pam would love to connect and help you guys. I'll help you any way I can. Business. Absolutely. Yeah. Love All right. It. Well, I appreciate it, John. I'll see you, you got next it. week. You got it. Thanks, Pam. We'll see you. You bet. Bye. Bye.